I recently made a video that explained what happened with the LGBT for gun rights Facebook page, but someone filed a YouTube privacy claim against it because I used screenshots in the video that showed full names. I guess the person who took down the page wants a shield of anonymity rather than proudly standing behind his actions. Since I had to take the video down, I thought I should do another video to explain. Since I can't show the screenshots because showing you the evidence of this story may result in another takedown, I'll have to settle for showing you instead the stifling effects of communism on creativity and human expression. I admin on a page called LGBT for Gun Rights. It was started by a friend of mine named Marcel, and is decently popular with over 7,000 likes. It posts news about people using guns to protect their lives, and memes about how gays are less vulnerable when armed. It's a group effort keeping the page active, and there's even a Facebook group to help the 20 or so admins organize. A few months ago, Marcel made his boyfriend Daniel an admin. Since then, Daniel has psychopathically controlled and altered Marcel's impressionable thinking radically. A man who once went by the moniker Gay K47 now believes in banning them. My neighbor, who once flew the anarcho capitalist flag in his window and appeared with me on my show Flaming Freedom, now believes in state socialism and gun bans. About two weeks ago, Daniel changed the LGBT for gun rights profile picture and background to pictures of Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. The other admins disapproved and changed them back with the rainbow text of the group's title. The admins come from all different political and non-political views. This wasn't a statement for or against political support as much as it was maintaining a clear identity for the page. This was just one quick incident and it caused a small uproar in the community. Members of the page complained, rightly, that they would have to leave the page if it became a pro-Bernie or pro-Hillary page. There was a small momentary dip in page likes, but they mostly returned when the profile picture changed back. Then, last week, the profile picture and cover photo had changed again to pro-Bernie Sanders images. I went to the page to go and change them back, and I realized I was no longer an admin. I no longer had the ability to change the cover photo or profile picture. And I no longer had the ability to post as the page. I basically couldn't do anything but analyze the stats. I had suddenly been downgraded to analyst with no explanation. And it wasn't just me, but all the other admins. And some new people I didn't recognize had also been added as admins. Daniel and his communist friends had usurped the page. They weren't interested in an open discussion or dissenting views. Hundreds of complaints poured in on the page. All questions went unanswered for days. Silence from the LGBT for gun rights page, except a post that read, Please stand by while our page takes on new management. People didn't stand by. Over a thousand page likes disappeared in one day. I messaged Daniel. I messaged Marcel they wouldn't respond. I have Marcel's phone number, so I called him up. He struggled for words, but finally explained that he's, quote, feeling the burn. I asked to speak with Daniel, and he explained that he did it, quote, just to F things up a little. He had added his commie friends to admin and was posting material that was anti-gun, explaining that it was totally reasonable. Though, Although relatively small, the LGBT for Gun Rights Facebook page has been a gateway to major media, including The Guardian. On a handful of occasions, I've spoken with reporters who got in touch with me by messaging the page. Is this now how the page would represent gun rights? Daniel opposes the right of people to defend themselves, and he made that clear. Not only was he posting material on behalf of the page to that end, he was also employing it in his own life. Disagree with him? Silenced. Resist his centralized control? Deleted. This is how communists operate. He's not interested in an exchange of ideas or respecting others' voices. He wants total control, and he'll take it by any means necessary. The LGBT for Gun Rights Facebook page threatens him emotionally. His boyfriend, its creator, 
has beliefs that he cannot tolerate, and he must wipe them out completely. If there is a place on the internet for gun-loving gays to organize, he wants to destroy it. If he had the power, he would disarm you. Believing ourselves to be out of luck, the admins of the former page created a new one and began populating it. It reached over a thousand new likes in one day. Finally, someone who asked not to be named stepped in. He returned the page to its former admins, and Marcel and Daniel agreed to step down. They have no business operating a page with four gun rights in the title if they are against gun rights. Some will argue that if Marcel created the page, then he had every right to destroy it. I would agree with that. But he didn't destroy it. None of the posts or changes were made by him. They were made by his boyfriend, who is clearly manipulating him. Marcel shares over 300 Facebook friends with me. They knew him as Gay K47, the gay anarchist who loves guns. None of them would be friends with a gun-grabbing Bernie supporter. <clears throat> Furthermore, it's in dispute who originally created the page. One of the admins, who goes by the name Gorilla, claims to be its legitimate co-creator. I do not know whether this is or is not the case, but regardless, I would liken the page ownership to that of a landlord and tenants. Does a landlord have every right to light his property on fire? Of course, he owns it. Is that right to do without informing his tenants and property managers? I don't think so. Some say that co-ownership and 20 different admins is an example of the tragedy of the commons, a situation in which individuals acting independently and rationally according to their own self-interest behave contrary to the best interests of the whole by depleting some common resource. I do not agree. First, because Facebook posts are not a finite resource, and second, because the page functioned very well despite a score of admins with differing views. When one admin would post something that another didn't like, he simply commented below as the page and signed the post with his name, citing his disagreement. We used our words. We didn't try to silence our fellow admins or have them banned or have their videos taken down. The answer to speech you don't like is more speech. May the best reasoned argument win. There's a Facebook group I started called Gainarchists. Everyone who joins is automatically made an administrator. All 74 members are admins. Anyone can change the title of the group, the cover photo, the group description, boot people out, add them, delete it, whatever they want. We've had no problems because we have a shared value of resolving disputes with our words rather than attempting to control others. Over the next days and weeks, I will work to grow the LGBT for gun rights page to make up for the damage Daniel caused. I hope you'll head over there and like our page. Thanks. I hope this explanation has been helpful, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the box below. I have a strict rule about never deleting comments, so they will stay. <laughs>